Okay, we're starting today on the project that I'm making for to hold all the buckets for the potatoes and probably the carrots. I don't know what else, but that's what we're going to start with. The design I'm going to make is going to hold eight buckets by the time we're done. And the first step was getting the 2x4s and painting them. Now I used an external paint and I used brown because I think it would be a nice contrast to the white and orange buckets. So the first thing I had to do was do all the measurements. And those are the measurements. I don't know if you can see them, but we're going to be cutting the boards to length before we put it together. So I just wanted to let you know what we're doing because I'm going to shut the video off and when I see you again, all the boards will be cut. Okay, the boards are cut and we've got two that are 12 inches long, four that are 31 inches, four that are 25 and a half, two that are 19, seven that are 55, and one at 52. So I've got the drill bit and the drill and the screws. And I'm using three inch um, deck screws for this project. And basically, you can put the together. Um, the 31 inch ones are the ones on the right end with a 12 inch at the top. And then the 25 and a half inches are the long ones going horizontal to meet the 19 one on the end. And you make two ends that are a mirror copy of each other. And after it's all said and done, I will be painting the ends with the same color paint to seal it good. So off to drilling. Turn it off so you don't hear the noise. And we'll be back. Well, it's the next morning as we got this done last night around 10 o'clock. A little too dark to do a video. So this is the finished bucket stand. And as you see it can holds four buckets across. Right now I've got four potatoes at the top a carrot, another potato, and I'm going to put two more buckets of carrots in there also. The um, potatoes that got hit by the frost freeze the other day are starting to come back. They're not looking too bad. And we've been busy, or I've been busy since I last saw you and working into the greenhouse. We got everything planted here. The tomatoes are in the back. We have tomatoes in the front with the uh, spiral supports. Two pumpkins, uh, not pumpkins, but um, peppers in the center. And on this side, we've got a whole bunch of different cucumbers, three different, two different varieties. There's a third variety that's supposed to be there it's not come up yet. And I've tested it. There were old seeds and I tested uh, five or six of them. And they just did not germinate. So I do not have much hope for that one. But I've got two cucumbers seedlings over there that I can pop into that space. I also have a pepper. And my two eggplants. Okay, that little eggplant there looks like it's got some type of bug eating it so I'm gonna have to check that out very carefully and see if there's any slugs or something underneath of it. The zucchini plants doing well. Broccoli and cauliflower are doing wonderful. Oh look I just now noticed I planted these little seeds two days ago and look at that. We've got uh, lettuce coming up. I planted a row of lettuce there, and then next to it, I planted a row of beets. Um, we've got lettuce and beets in the long container. And actually, we've got broccoli is just starting to form little heads up there. 
Uh, the kale is ready to eat, and so is the Swiss chard in here. I got a basket of oregano back there in the corner, and a few ceilings down here on the bottom shelf yet that I'm getting ready to harden off. And I have a zucchini over here. No, that's the yellow squash. Zucchini was on the other corner. And then down here, well, I haven't seen them yet, but I've got red lettuce planted and um, radishes planted along the edge of the uh, new pavers that we're putting down. Now, we haven't put any fill in them yet, and I don't think we're going to. I was going to get sand, but then after discussing it with my husband with all the potting soil and stuff that we do in here, these little crevices are soon going to be filled up with excess potting soil that gets wasted, I guess you would say, when you scrape it off the table and onto your back into your bag and stuff. Some of it always falls out, and that's there'll soon be enough to cover this whole area. I am going to need five more pavers. I miscalculated. Oh well. <laughs> so let's see what else I've been up to. I've got the whole little cart here waiting to be planted. They're hardening off. Most of them are pretty much ready. It's just me finding time to get out here and do this. The strawberries are blooming and nice up on this patch. This is the newest patch. Chives are beautiful. They're all got all those beautiful little tops on them. And my turnips are doing really well. The uh, black seeded Simpson that we planted is doing well. And the second wave of radishes. This is the second wave. Those inside there are the third wave. And I've got a bunch of pots. I'm still potting up and doing things. Onions are looking well. This is the first wave of, wave of radishes, and they're ready to be harvested. And the bibelas and the baby kale out here is doing well. That large lettuce is one that was that went itself over. So we're going to have a nice salad tonight with the radishes and stuff. Been a little disappointed in the peas this year. They just have not really taken off. Um, I planted older seeds in this one, and half of them did well, and the other half didn't. So I came back in and I filled in the spots that didn't do well with the little seeds, and they didn't do very well either. So I'm not for sure what's going on with this bed. And same with this one. I planted new seeds. I went out and bought new pea seeds and put those in here. And that was 21 days ago. And I'm just now starting to see some of them come up. So hopefully all of them will. But right now it's very few and very sparse in between. This bed I just planted the other day and it's got a row of beets and you can just see they're coming up and behind those is my first year that I've tried leeks so we'll see how those turn out. I'm anxious to find out. That back row is going to be butternut squash and I've got one in a bucket that I'm going to try going up the side of the trellis and I got a bucket of pumpkin here and I'm going to put more pumpkins down there. And this is a bed I'm really proud of. This is my first time ever of getting spinach. And I'm pretty happy about it. Asparagus I had to put in cages because they were just going wild. And I have a little, another volunteer lettuce down there. The strawberry patches are great. They are just coming along so well. And we've already eaten a bunch of strawberries off there. And looks like I got to harvest 
few more before tonight. That would be good in our salad too. The blackberries are blooming. The tarps, not tarps, the plastics are laid out. They were laid out to dry. And when you know, I just get them laid out and it pours down rain. So I guess I'll be laying out another day. <laughs> um, and two more batches of, patches of strawberries, which haven't started blooming, uh, haven't started ripening yet. And here's another patch that are just starting to turn. Here we have that kale plant that we're planning on getting the seeds from. The pods are starting to fill out very nicely. So hopefully we'll get some good seeds. In fact, if you look real close, you can just see the seeds forming inside of them. Those little nodules. So I'm anxious to find out how that works. I got Swiss chard that's left from last year. And I got the watermelon plant. And I, I kind of started doing the square garden method a long time ago. And we need the grids basically at the beginning to figure out how to get your mindset to how many you could put into a square. But after you plant it, and if you plant it with something that's going to be all season long, like this okra that you can see, there's no need to have a grid anymore. In fact, I finally get in the way. So what I did was hook it up this way, and I'm going to use it to, as a trellis for my watermelon. And I've got two, oh, a little watermelon there, and another one over there. So I got three watermelons across this that hopefully I can trail them between the okra as the okra grows up taller and also up the trellis. And over here, we have that rosemary plant that managed to make it through the winter. And then I have bush green beans. And among them, I have um, some cabbage. Because when the green beans come out, the cabbage will be bigger and they'll take over the whole thing except for the rosemary plant. So, and then I've got the frame up so that I can put a net over it to help um, keep the cabbage bug worm away from them. So that is where we stand right now, today. And like I said, I still got more to plant. I've got to put the tomatoes in. I got to put the rest of the butternut squash and the pumpkins and the watermelon in. And then I want to put um, I want to put sweet corn in here. As the peas get a little bit taller and I can see where they're at, I'm going to pop in some sweet corn, and by the time the peas are done, the sweet corn should take over. So, that is what we're at today. Hope you're having a good day, and remember, dream big. Bye.